Able to pick up sub frequencies that were so low, they literally could make a pair of NS10s flutter. This is a pair of Neumann Telefunken CMV3s. They came in many varieties. I'm pretty sure that this was the earliest tube condenser microphone that George Neumann built. It has, as you can see, a detachable M7 capsule. They also had an M8 and an M9, and there was also a variation on the M9 that fit on top of this, and it had more of a that kind of shape. I think that it was designed to have a very powerful sound. There were essentially two variations, at least that I know of. One goes on a stand like this one does, and the other is a tabletop microphone that would have been used for broadcasting for radio. So this microphone showed up at a session that I was doing in Paris with Ozzy Osbourne. We plugged the microphone in, and once again, one of those moments where I was in complete shock because this microphone has a very unusual sonic footprint to it. It's not the type of microphone that you're really gonna to wanna to record vocals through, although I think some people have done it. But if you are looking for a very edgy sound with an immense amount of low end, then this is probably the microphone for you. I was actually using it in proximity to a drum kit, but aiming it toward an array of subwoofers that I was using to amplify the bass drum. This microphone, out of every microphone that I had, tube or otherwise, was able to pick up a range of sub-frequencies that were so low that they literally could make a pair of NS10s flutter. It's one of the reasons that I love this microphone so much. It picks up an immense amount of bottom. And again, in a range that other mics just simply can't reach. Amazing microphones, an amazing piece of history.